what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you guys about the ORD method in python so let's get started <laughs> So what does the ORD method even do? Well, the ORD method is a method that accepts a character as an argument and returns the Unicode equivalence of that character. And the syntax is ORD parentheses character, like that. And you might be wondering what I meant when I said um, Unicode equivalent. Well, Unicode is how a computer sees characters. When your computer sees A, it doesn't see A. It instead sees a binary representation of that value because computers only understand binary. They don't understand this. Basically, what we have is a method that can convert characters in our language, so like the alphabet and stuff, and we can convert that into the computer's language. So let's try out an example. Print ORD, ORD, quotes, and inside the quotes just put in a character. So I'll do A. So now let me try running this, and we get that the Unicode value of A is 97. And also, here is one thing that you have to remember. The ORD method only takes in characters, not strings. So what are characters? Well, characters are one single um, letter. But strings are many letters like that. And you might be wondering, well, what if I want the sum of all the Unicode numbers? How do I do that? Well, you can do that with a for loop. So since a string is an iterable, you can iterate over it. So I will create a string and I'll call this string. That's the name of my string. And, and the name of my string will be um, FH coding. Now, if I want the sum, I'll declare a variable called count, and I will set that to zero. And now I can make a for loop for character in string count plus equals ORD character. Since a string is an iterable type, that means you can iterate over it. So that means you can access each character. And this doesn't have to be called character. I, I could have called this bananas, but you know, I just wanted to keep it simple and, and I wanted it to make sense. And that's really important. Don't name variables things like X and Y, because if you end up with a problem and you have to debug, it becomes really problematic because you might forget what X stands for and, and what Y stands for. So now that we have this for character and string and the count, it's zero and it just adds the ORD of each character. So now I can print out count. So now let me try running this and I get that the binary representation of all of the characters in FH coding, when you add that, the sum of that is 770 and also or doesn't just accept characters. Since it's Unicode, it can also um, accept special characters. So if you're typing Chinese, Unicode has binary representations of those Chinese and Japanese symbols. But I do not have those symbols on my keyboard. So for the sake of demonstration, I will use the percentage sign. So print ORD quotes and inside the quotes I will put in a percentage sign. So when I run this, I'll get 37. So if you ever want to know the binary representation of any character, the ORD function is the function that you should use. 
Well, that's it for this video. I really appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.